Hi everyone, welcome to my channel today. My name is Cheryl. I am just starting YouTube. It's gonna be awesome. Day two of vlogging. Let's get started. So I was asked by one of my friends um, what I went through in my body changes because I mentioned in a previous one that I went through some pretty weird body changes or it might have been an Instagram post that they were like, oh, well, what body changes have you gone through? Because they've only known me for a short amount of time. And pretty much it's it lasted most of college, which was about five years. Um, <clears throat> it was, I was in high school and I ended high school at probably about like being a size eight in jeans which you know that's pretty average and I was about 140 so I was pretty I was petite but I was very muscular and I just I had a very athletic body I was a dancer for about five years um and then I went to college and I just stopped I stopped pretty much everything physical that I was doing every day and it took a toll on my body uh I ended up in my first two years of college I gained almost 100 pounds and I went in for a physical when I turned 20, I think, and my doctor was like, I'm scared for you because of how quickly you've gained weight. From my physical from when I was 18 to my physical when I was 20, it was about almost 100 pounds, and I didn't gain uh, any height, and so it was just, you know, it, it was weird um, in the fact of how I was gaining the weight. And at the time I dated a guy from the beginning of college. So the fall semester of my freshman year of college to, uh, summer, uh, in between my sophomore and junior year. And the whole time he would always be like, oh yeah, if you want to look good, that's up to you. Like he would never tell me like, oh, I think you're beautiful. Or like, he would never be like, oh, I'm, kind of worried about your weight or anything he would just be like you do whatever you want to be like however you want to look if you want to be overweight be overweight I think you're beautiful no matter what it's pretty much what he would tell me and then um after I saw my doctor I was like I want to lose weight because I'm scared of how much I weigh and because he it was it was for me being always being between 140 and 160 growing up being a dancer I was just like oh yeah, like that, you know, that's my weight. That is my weight range. <laughs> and I always like thought, oh yeah, I'm fine. I never looked at a scale during my first two years of college just because it didn't interest me. Um, and honestly, I was fine with whatever exercises I was doing, which was not a lot. Um, so anyway, I decided that summer before my ex-boyfriend broke up with me uh, that I was going to lose weight and I didn't know what that meant. I didn't understand how intensive it became. Uh, my doctor was just like, hey, we'll do checkups and see how good you're getting, you know, and I just went in for my yearly physicals and it was fine. Uh, but he was very encouraging me to go to a nutritionist and see what I needed for nutrition wise because um he he was worried about different things and I was very I was very understanding of it but I just never did <laughs> to be honest so I ended up in in that summer of 2013 I ended up losing about 15 pounds and like keeping it off and then junior year of college, I didn't gain, didn't lose, but I stayed about the same size. Like it was, if anything, I got smaller. Um, sorry, I, my allergies are weird today. Um, but anyway, so I ended up staying about the same weight most of junior year. And then right before I ended junior year, I decided to go do drum corps one more year. And I was Honestly, I was scared because I was going into it over 60 pounds heavier than the previous time I did it. And I was scared to do it because 
I mean, I knew I would lose weight in that, but I knew it was going to be a ton harder on my body. And like I had an injury and I was really scared that something was going to mess it up for good. And so I just, I was really careful when I was in drum corps this, the third time around in 2014. But that summer I cut out soda. I cut out coffee for the whole summer. Plus I was doing, you know, at least six hours worth of working out a day and eating a lot of carbs. I would say I, I thought I ate a lot of carbs that summer, but anyway, so I ended up, I think I lost about 35 pounds in that summer. Cause I went from about two 15 ish. Like that's like how much I lost about like from when I started was about 215 and then I got down to about 285 280 but it fluctuated through the last couple weeks of summer and that's totally understandable um and then I went home and I was a size 14 in pants I got to be a size 18 that was my max and I was just like I'm too big too big scary I went from a size 8 to a size 18. That's a huge difference in two years. And within my first summer of trying to lose weight, I got down to a size 16. And it was weird to me to think I'm the same size as my mother. (laughs) Like, I'm wearing the same jeans as my mom. And that's, that was weird to me because I was always smaller than her. And so I got down to a 14 um, after summer of 2014. Okay. (laughs) And I could take my 16s off without unbuttoning them. Like they would just slide off of me as I wore them. And so I knew, okay, I have to get new clothes. And so I got a pair of 12s, even though I knew they weren't going to fit. I just, I was like, okay, let's get a pair of size 12. Okay. Didn't fit me at all. Couldn't button them, button them, couldn't pull them up over my hips. Um, but I was like, okay, well, I know that's where I'm going. And then I made a goal for myself at the beginning of my senior year of college that eventually in life, I wanted to be down back to a size eight and, you know, 10, eight, 10. Uh, And I, you know, kept trying and trying during that whole entire year of college. And I was just like, why is nothing changing? Nothing. The scale didn't change. My, if anything, the scale went up. And that was scary to me because I was like, I'm going to gain as much weight as I did before. And I don't want that. And it was, oh gosh, senior year of college, I was like, I was trying so hard to lose the weight that I put on but during my freshman year of college that it was stressing me out to where I couldn't lose weight. It, th- does that make sense? Like, it didn't make sense to me. And I actually was taking, like, PE classes to, like, do some extra cardio. I was going to the gym a ton. I was trying to go on walks everywhere. I mean, I didn't have my license until the end of my final year of college. And, um, and so I would, you know, just try to do extra things. And I even like, I started to eat less. I definitely portion controlled during that whole entire year. And yet nothing changed. And I was just like, am I stuck in a size 14? Is that the, is that the final goal apparently? And it just happened that when I stopped focusing on what size I was or where I was at scale wise, I started to lose the size and I started, I, I have not lost weight. I've actually gained muscle, which is really weird to me because growing up, I knew my legs were pretty, uh, were pretty muscly. I, if that's a word, I guess. Um, but I knew that, I mean, I had dancers legs they're pretty strong if you think about it. Um, and I thought most of my fat gain was actually in my stomach and my arms and shoulders. And actually now that I've lost half of what I've gained, um, you know, 
three years later, I've noticed I actually did gain weight in almost every part of my body. And it's really interesting because when I stop working out, my body will reproportion itself and figure out what is happening and like why it's so much smaller. But um, yeah, so all of senior year, once I realized, oh, like it's not going to happen, then I kind of just like stopped and I was like, well, I could try or I could focus on what makes me happy. And I started dating a different guy who was my best friend for a long time. And I was kind of in the boat of, I want to impress him. I want to make him excited to see me whenever we see each other. And I want to be pretty for him. And I kind of got into that mindset of, oh, everything I'm doing is for him. And if he wasn't happy, then I would just kind of stop. And I was like, what's the point of doing this if you are not happy. And for a while, it got to be a point to where I would go and I would work out a ton and just make myself feel good. And then when he would tell me, oh, well, you're okay. Then it's like, what is the point of me doing this? Like what, why I was still in that mindset of, I want to make him happy. And it was like, well, why am I trying so hard for someone who doesn't care. Does that make sense? Like, I mean, why? And so then towards the end of the school year during 2015, I was, I had one term left until I graduated. So I graduated in December of last year and I was still like with him and everything. And I just kind of told him, I was like, you know what? I'm going to exercise to make myself happy because I have a goal that I want. And I, I would love to have you compliment me as I'm trying. And so I would, you know, send him progress pictures and just be like, look at how good I'm doing. And he would just be like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> and so it kind of made me be like, it, it's we're still the mindset of why am I trying? Why? And so... I got to a point last year that I ended up just not having the energy to do it. I worked at a summer camp for the summer and I just like, I always had the motivation to do it. And I was always like, yeah, I want to go do this because I want to be skinny and I want to be able to wear a two piece and not feel weird. And like, I don't, I don't want to be uncomfortable in my own body. And so sometimes there would be days where I was just like, I'm really comfortable and I love how I look and I'm just so excited and then no one would compliment me and I'd be like oh okay like I'm I'm not as pretty as I think I am okay and then it would just be like this like back step of like what am I doing am I really trying to impress someone else or am I trying to impress myself and so once that went through my head my my actual last semester of college, I bought a dress for my senior recital that was a size too small. And I told myself, I will fit into this dress. I will, because it was perfect. It was everything I wanted it to be. And it was the perfect color. It was, I mean, it was the color of my lips. No, I... It was a beautiful dress. It still is. And I have not tried it on, I think, since the day I wore it for my recital. But before my recital, I would try it on every single day because I wanted to feel beautiful in what I was doing and what I was wearing. And my mom had to fix it to actually stretch it out because I didn't lose the weight in time. And that was really sad for me because I was just like, I could breathe. But it was sad to know my mom had to change it because I didn't make a goal. Um, but the my goal since I started losing weight was to get down to a size 10. All of the last semester of college, I did not lose weight. I lost size. I kept I went to the gym almost every single day. I would go almost every day. I think I would have maybe one or two rest days a week. 
And I was very into doing cardio and doing things that I knew my body needed. And then I would always finish off with a little bit of ballet because I'm a classical ballet dancer. That is what I'm trained in. And I would finish off just stretching like how we would do. And it really helped my self-esteem just to know I'm doing this for me. Even if I'm trying to impress someone else, I'm doing it for me because I want to be to a specific size. And in the last, like, month of school, I got down to where my 14s were starting to fall off of me. And I was like, I need to start wearing 12s because I have to wear a belt with my jeans all the time. And so I tried on 12s and... It, yeah, I'm so glad I moved down in size, which is great. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> and then I have not gone to the gym, like an actual working out gym, since March, beginning of April. Like, that's the last time I went to a gym to work out because I work out outside. I work out at my house. Um, I can't afford a gym right now just because money is very limited with my job. Um, and so I started working out at my house. There's actually a hill next to my house that is a mile and a quarter, all uphill. It's terrible, <laughs> but I do it. And it's a great workout. I walk it because I don't have the endurance to run it yet. I, my goal if I had a workout goal, would be to either jog a 5k, like walk, jog, you know, um, or be able to jog that whole entire mile and a quarter just because, because it's uphill the whole time. Uh, I think the elevation is about 500 feet. So <laughs> that's a lot in a mile. Like that's climbing a mountain, <laughs> but the, getting to the top the first time I did it, I was so proud of myself. I actually called my now ex-boyfriend and I was just like, you should be so proud of me. I just did this thing and I just climbed a mountain and he was just like, oh, okay, good job. What? Why are you not proud of me is what went through my head. And then I was like, oh, because he's not going to be proud of me. Whatever my goals are, it's not what he wants. And it, I mean, I still do that workout even after that happened. And that was over a month ago. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to see how many times in a row I can do this. I ended up going about four. And then my body was like, no, take a break. <laughs> so I did. It was fine. Um, but yeah, it was just, oh my gosh. I have officially. I'm wearing 10s, 10, 12s. Like, I just bought a pair of 10 skinny jeans. And I thought 12 skinny jeans a couple months ago were way too tight. And I'm so happy. I mean, I was so excited. I posted a picture on Facebook um, because I was just, I was so excited. I'm not the number weight. No, heck no. I'm not the number weight that... I want to be. Um, but honestly, they always claim this claim. It's just a number. You know, you're never going to be the number weight you want to be. And if you are, then you're unhealthy. You know, it's just how it is. I'm learning to love my body the way it is. It's a challenge every day. I'm learning to love myself how I am. And honestly, being on YouTube is going to, I hope, help. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's been a crazy ride for the last three years. <laughs> I'm, you know, been going through some crazy stuff um, in different things. So that is my little rant for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for the crazy lights on my face. I have many different screens going on around me and they keep turning on and off, but it's just how my lighting is. Thank you again for watching and listening to me rant. Um, 
if you want to know more, I'd be, you know, more than happy to explain myself. Uh, if you have any other stories you want to hear, then definitely shoot me a message, comment down below of what you would love to hear about. Um, and I will do my best to uh, respond and make a video or something. I hope you guys like my setup. I'm at my dad's desk. <laughs> it's, it will do. So thanks for watching everyone. Have a great rest of your evening and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.